Hey guys, it's Samrin. It's time for another vlog, and I am watching The Guild, the web series. If you've never seen The Guild, the web series, you definitely need to check it out. It's probably one of my favorite web series that there is. So, um, yeah, I'll put a link down in the description for the link to watch the series. It has all of the, the seasons on the website, so you don't have to go, like, searching for it. There's also, they also have a, uh... YouTube that has some of the seasons on it, but not all of them. If you want to see like the newest season, you have to go to the website. So I'll just leave all the links down below. You should definitely check that out. So after taking a look around my room, I realized that I really need to clean it. Like, um, I need to strip my bed, wash my uh, sheets and stuff. I have like this bag of, um, it's not actually like gross type of garbage but it's like dry things that I, I didn't want to like throw into my normal trash can which is now full I know that's gross sorry but I'm going to clean up my room I'm also going to straighten up my desk and stuff as you can see I'm watching some CTFXC and I have RuneScape running in the background I started it but I, I haven't even logged in yet but I'm going to do that so uh yeah after that, I'm going to go make dinner for my mom. I'm going to make us scrambled eggs and biscuits and gravy because that's the only thing that I know how to make that she'll eat. Well, not that I know how to make other stuff, but that's easier. Okay, be right back. I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so I'm pretty much done with cleaning my room. Sorry about the background noise. I had to turn the uh, fans on because it was getting kind of warm. So I took the trash out and I moved the trash can right there. I moved this over a little so I could put my dirty laundry basket there. I folded up the DDR pad just out of the way. There's no more trash over there. Um, I made up my bed and I have my little Dutch for Dummies book right there because I like uh, studying in bed. And, um, I need to write Micah a reply letter later on so I can get that package shipped out to her. And also I need to get a little thing to hang my pants up. But I hung up some of the laundry that I just had laying around that was clean. I know you can't see it, but there's a hoodie here that was just laying around. See, there's sleeve of hoodie. And my pants, the pants that had the soy sauce stain on it, uh, the stain did come out for those who were wondering. Um, so yeah, it's too early to go make dinner, so I'm just going to go downstairs and wash my dishes that I had sitting up here, which it was only like three, three bowls that had, I had soup in. So I'm going to go do that. I uh, finished the dishes and I cleaned up the kitchen for mom. As you can see, just look at that shine right there. And, uh, yeah. Also put up my crock pot since I'm done with my soup. And I put up the dishes that I cleaned. So, we're actually going to take Trixie out because my stomach is growling. It is, like, ready for some freaking food. So, uh, come on, Trixie. Let's go out. Come on. Yeah, I'm like ready for some food. No, we're going out. Come on. I'm sorry that my house is so dark and you can like hardly ever see anything when uh when I film down here, but oh well. Okay, hang on. Alright, done taking Trixie out. I didn't actually film outside because hang on. Sorry about that guys. That was my mom. Um calling to tell me that she wouldn't be home for dinner because dad's really not feeling that good like well not really doing that good because um, he wants to be transferred to a normal hospital he doesn't want to be in that one anymore he thinks well a lot of us have thought that they're not really doing a good job taking care of him and um Mike has been suggesting that uh, that mom seek a second opinion from another doctor from another hospital, and you know, I suggested that to her, but I I think she's just so stressed out that she can't 
compute how to go about doing it. So, um, Dad just wants to be out of that hospital in general. And that hospital used to be like one of the best hospitals around here at all. And now, how a 10-day a stay in a hospital turns into 40 plus days now that he's been in there and he just won't he does does not want to be in there anymore so um, dad wants her to stay with him tonight so I'm guessing that's what she's gonna do uh, I don't know her phone started breaking up pretty bad and um, yeah we're just waiting to hear back from her as soon as she gets a signal or something. Just thought I'd let you guys know. I have no idea if you guys can even see me or not, but my mom finally called back and said that my dad doesn't want to try anymore. He doesn't like living how he's living right now, which is off of respirators and machines. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just kind of in, in shock right now, so, if today's vlog doesn't really have an, an ending, I'm sorry. So, that's all I really gotta say right now. Just a quick note in regards to uh, last night's video, um, my dad is, uh, he started feeling better once they gave him a TV to watch, and they're thinking about putting him on antidepressants. So, um, I'm just going to keep hoping, okay? Love you guys. Bye.